What's going on you beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop back by. Now, lately we've talked a lot about the reality tree and a couple of the same theories, but today we are taking a different approach. By the way, quick announcement, I have changed my supported creator code to simply DRP. That is my new code, short, sweet, simple, and to the point. If you'd like to support me, I would appreciate it very much. So I want to start with this. Apparently the cube queen is still on the island. You remember how I've been telling you guys for a while that I think the cube queen is still alive and now we might have some proof to back that up. Besides touching the water completely before everything teleported away, there is this light, this orb that is off in the distance currently off the coast of Reality Falls. It's been there since the start of Chapter 3, and somehow I never knew this. And I guess somehow a lot of you guys, I'm sure, missed it too. The crazy thing is, in this next clip you're about to see, I had no idea that thing had been there since the start of the chapter. Okay guys, check this out. So apparently Ali A made a video about this and I'm just now seeing this. It's going pretty viral. So if you go and look off into the distance, you can see what appears to be a glowing orb. It's been there for the entire season so far, and looking back on it, you can actually see this thing off the coast of Reality Falls if it's at night and you're looking from the battle bus. If it's during the day, it's really tough to see, but that doesn't change the fact that this is literally sitting out there, and I don't think this is some sort of mistake. They've done stuff like this before. You might remember the light off in the distance before, back in chapter one. Also in chapter one, of course, they had the comet coming in from far away, the iceberg coming in from far away, they had Galactus coming in from far away. Needless to say, we've heard this song a whole bunch. That's crazy. That's definitely got to mean something for the storyline. What exactly that is? I guess we'll have to figure it out, but I really do now think there's a strong possibility that the Cube Queen, who again probably got left in the water after everything teleported away, has somehow hidden behind this mountain and is recovering and generating a new battle plan before she unleashes it on the island. I'll tell you what, this might not be correct, but if true, that kind of opens up a lot of new avenues and pathways that we can take our theories now. There might actually be some very real connections between the reality tree and the last reality. Vandtex on Reddit says, here's a theory that's very out there. Agent Jones is the second version of Jonesy, and who is the first? None other than the Visitor. Now, hang on a second, stay with me, I know this sounds ridiculous, however, I do think there's some decent points you should hear. We all know that Jones has the most snapshots of him than anyone else in the loop, with the very first snapshot of him, of course, being Jonesy the first, OG default skin. The original Jonesy, as we know right now, is Agent Jones, or Jonesy, the guy who is helping us out massively in these questions and these events lately. The Visitor, on the other hand, was the very first member of the Seven that we ever knew about and the very first one that actually spoke to us. Maybe even the most mysterious one at the time. I mean, this guy was first on so many levels with big storyline characters. He even kickstarted the very first live event. Also, of course, there is speculation now that the Visitor is retiring. The Visitor, number one, please don't retire. I'm sure the island is going to need your services here very soon, especially if this Cube Queen thing is correct. Well, guys, sorry to interrupt, but we just had our third earthquake today. Go team. Anyway, if the Visitor does retire, of course, the prime candidate to replace his role would be Jones, who he himself even kind of jokingly talked about it during that last live event, coining himself the legend. And even though that was mostly a joke and none of the members of the Seven really seemed receptive to it at the time, I think it still may have been a pretty big foreshadowing event. Plus, you can see at the end of the event, Jones giving the foundation a fist bump, which is really weird to see considering the way they got along up to this point. Plus, can you even imagine this scenario and how crazy it would be? I feel like it would just be an awesome twist in a future event, Jonesy and the Visitor talking, and then the Visitor opening up his helmet, revealing that he is Jonesy, and Agent Jones his whole life thought that he was the original. I mean, can you even imagine how crazy of a situation that would be? Imagine your whole life you live and then out of nowhere somebody takes off their helmet or shows up in your life and they're like, yeah, I'm you. I'm the original, you're the snapshot. How absolutely bamboozled would you be in that moment? Outlandish, I know, yet that is the exact 
kind of outlandish move that Epic would pull. Remember, the Visitor is one of the few members of the Seven who has never had their face revealed. And check this out, Caden says, another theory I have is when I first saw the Stormfarer skin without the suit, I thought it was Jonesy after traveling through the portal or whatever with the Foundation during the last event, and the bandages were because he wasn't wearing a suit while the Foundation was. When any member of the Seven goes through the Zero Point, for the most part, you assume they're safe because of their suit and technologies they've developed, but of course, when the Foundation took Jones through the Zero Point to go after Geno, Jones did not have any sort of protective clothing or gear on, yet at the same time, a few moments later when we see him again traversing the multiverse, he doesn't appear to have anything abnormal going on. It is a cool theory, and one way or the other, I do think this is an important skin. The description says a martial arts expert seeking total control of the storm. In a lot of ways, kind of sounds like Midas, who may or may not be actually coming back this season. Be sure to let me know your thoughts and suggestions on all of this in the comments below.